Right, hello guys, Trey Express and Sam, welcome back to another uh, flight sim video everybody. Uh, sorry for the delay, I was uh, finishing a, uh, <laughs> a tikka masala. <laughs> yeah, there's no technical issues. Uh, so yeah, hello everybody, Martin's here, uh, Bobby's here, can't decide whether I'm uh, doing this one uh, to Man or Keflavik. I love to see the Microsoft Flight Sim schedule back. Uh, and the new thumbnail's great, uh, see you in 15, <laughs> see you in 15 minutes. Um, yeah, hey dude, where the, uh, where's the main man? Late again, probably on the Magnus, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm just saying hello to everyone. Bobby's here, shock, face CM. Um, yeah, you can hear me fine. Uh, so yeah, um, connection seems alright tonight. I think it's fixed. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's probably just one of those things, to be honest. But um, yeah, um, hope everyone's well. Uh, the gameplay hasn't froze. I'm just uh, checking through the YouTube chat filters uh, just to check everything's alright and nothing's on there. Uh, subscriber only mode or something daft like that or you know because youtube like to uh turn stupid things on when they're not meant to be on uh so yeah i'm just checking everything before we get going and then we're done uh we can we can get going with a flight uh basically i think everything's all right uh good for my settings this is what i have to do in manchester do the same thing at manchester spend maybe two minutes before the stream quiet and people are like where is he and I'm just checking things, honestly, because I have no other time to do it, do I? So we'll try and maybe check back up. It's like a checkup, isn't it? It's like a... Yeah, uh, like just maintenance, like stream maintenance and stuff. Um, whilst it's... Uh, it's uh, I'm not doing anything. I can do it whilst I was flying. Right, screw all this. Do it when I'm flying. So yeah, um, I was going to do Minorca, but I just thought, right, let's do Mallorca instead because it's a bit more exciting, Mallorca. Apparently, all the tourists are going off Mallorca at the moment. Um... Because apparently they're saying stuff like, um, oh, there's, there's, there's uh, loose chippings and stuff and think not loose chippings, um, landslides, that's it, landslides going on. Uh, there's um, jellyfish washing up on shore and apparently they're doing it to uh, deter all the tourists because they don't want like six million or something. There's going to be like six million people in Mallorca this summer or maybe 60 million, I don't know, but I thought they'd like that business, but no, looks like, looks like no. Hey, you haven't flown from Manchester um, in Microsoft Flight Simulator for ages. Are you at the RVP on Saturday, Sam? Yes. Fingers crossed the connection issues are sorted, Sam. Yeah, let's hope. hope your career was good. Uh, did you see my Iceland video? I still haven't seen it. I've been uh, busy uh, just editing the start of my Amsterdam trip report. And look at this gate as well. Gate 28. Yeah. If anyone... Uh, well, I will remember because I actually departed on a Thomas Cook 767 at this very gate when I went to Menorca in 2014. So, uh... Yeah, but we're not going to Menorca, we're going to <laughs> Mallorca. I was actually calling Menorca Mallorca in 2014. I was saying, we're going to Mallorca, guys. We're going to Mallorca. Mallorca. I think I meant Menorca. I just, did, I just didn't know my islands. I just had no clue on where was where. and I didn't know if it were like, a, like an archipelago of islands. You know what I mean? I, I just thought it was all one or it was scattered around. I just didn't know. Didn't, didn't know a thing. Right, the connection's going funny again, so that's good news, isn't it? Ah, oh, bugger. Right, okay, so we're going to turn everything on. Saves time. Window heats. APU bleed. Yeah, it's on 4K as well. Are you right next to me? Great. Is yours okay? Yeah, okay, you can hear me fine. Uh, batteries are on. All that's on. Yeah, it's all fine. There's a bit of scre uh, uh, frame tearing, screen tearing a little bit in this game. I don't know if that's a bug. It's definitely not anything to do with my monitor because I've got G-Sync on and all that. Um, but now it's just like something like a bug in the game. Like it's it's making the screen tear. I thought it was my Elgato, but it comes in with built-in VRR, the Elgato. So there's there's no way that could happen. Well, it, it could if it really dropped below 20 or something, but yeah. Oh no, not again. It's not the end of the world. It's, it's just one of those things. I mean, it, ju it just fluctuates. There was a plant next to the router. I moved that. I was like, hmm, could be the plant. So I've moved the plant. But no, we we'll see. We'll see. They're making loads of upgrades on the 16th, apparently, in my area. So we'll have to see what's going on. All right, we'll start the engines. Engine one. No, no, don't do anything for flaps. Um... That's the thing, I never had these issues when I was in 1080p. Ever since I've been progressing onto 4K and all that, 
it's been a lot more apparent, you know, ever since the new year, whenever I started the 4K streams of gaming. You know, it's been a lot more apparent since I've done it. Um, you know, since I've done all the uh, the 4K stuff, so it, it's probably just that. Because when I did it in 1080p, I, I rarely had many incidences. I did a flight earlier, KLM from Amsterdam to, to Menorca. Oh, Nightbot, go away. We don't need to know the temperature at Manchester Airport. Ignore it, ignore it. It probably is 8 degrees at Manchester. It might be, so it might be correct. Um... Yeah, at the moment the stream's fine. Yeah. I'm at crew on Tuesday. Oh, nice. I'm, go I'm at crew tomorrow. Josh O'Malley is going to help me do some train spotting. Seriously. I'm go There's no Manchester Airport stream tomorrow because I'm working in the primary early tomorrow. He wants me in early. So I'm going to have to do that another day in the week, guys. It does say possible on the timetable. Possible man streams for Monday. Uh, Bobby's right next to me. I'm surprised they have uh, fully closed the uh, path. Uh, at Wood End Lane, uh, completely no information about it on council. Oh, you're going to be PTU there. Right, well, what way are we pushing? We're going to go left. We usually go left, don't we? Not yet, though. Wait. <laughs> Normally I'm at the car park. <laughs> but I've at this second on. I'm at the car park up there, <laughs> streaming it. Oh, he's just pushing back. You'll see the elevators move in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about last night as well. I mean, I I was literally watching the premiere in a pub toilet. Seriously, I was in the Acorn in Bebbington. And I, I was just like, oh, God. I was coming up to it. I was like, shit, the premiere's on now, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So I thought, well, maybe I could just pop into the pub and have a pint. But I didn't really want a pint. So I just didn't really feel like one. I was kind of tired and I didn't want to have to walk all the way home. And feeling a little bit, you know, I was tired anyway, I didn't want to, the last thing I wanted was a, a pint and it made me feel even worse, so I just went into the, the pub toilet, opened my phone and chatted to everyone on the premiere last night on the town, I know it's a bit yuck, but hey, it's interesting, <laughs> oh hang on, oh no guys, we're going to have to reset it, we're going to have to reset it because the game's bugged, oh for God's sake, <sighs> yeah the pushback to, how haven't they not? Fix that bug yet? Jesus, does this game get any attention? Well, it clearly doesn't, because they're all working on the new mess, aren't they? The new buggy mess. Oh, just just a... Really, you know. Uh, do you have any airport scenery in the sim? Yeah, I do. Look, look uh, there's the Thomas Cook hangar. Okay, it's a bit outdated, but... That's, uh, that's because of the, the, the people that make the... Uh, the airport scenery stuff. I don't think they're very good. I don't think they're very good developers. You know, frame drop in here, there, and everywhere. A bit outdated. You know, we could have made a little bit better, but no. That's up to the developer, uh, the developers, isn't it? Not me. I, oh, I'm the sucker who had to pay for it, so. You know. Okay, we're just going to turn everything on. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. The, the game freezes sometimes when, uh. Well, it doesn't freeze, but there's a, there's a pushback, uh bug where basically you can't tell the tug to disconnect or stop pushback. It just continues to push back for eternity and it's just a bad bug. It's been in the game for ages. A year. We still haven't fixed it. I bet it's been in the game longer than that. So as long as I've been playing the game I've known about it because it's kind of like one of those indispensable things you need like pushback. I need to push back. Everyone needs to push back. I don't know if it's when engines are start, engine one start, no engine two. We'll just start two engines just in case it's some sort of bug to do with the engines. I don't know. Right, okay. Are you doing a, a, tra a train spotting stream tomorrow? I might be. I'm, I'm going to be more focused on taking pictures and then using those pictures to identify my trains. Like, I'm always willing to learn new skills and stuff and new new hobbies and stuff. I know train spotting is similar to plane spotting, but. Um, I'm willing to take the time off tomorrow from streaming and meet Josh, socialise with Josh and him to tell me that... I used to love... Tra I used to be into trains when I was younger, but... I've got an avenue and there's probably new trains and stuff and... All that, but, you know, like... What are we talking about here? 2005? Yeah, that's when I was last into trains. 2005. So, yeah, I don't think the knowledge would have stuck. I, I can hardly remember what I did yesterday. I can't even remember doing the stream yesterday at Manchester Airport. I can't even remember doing it. Honestly... 
I know I did it, <laughs> but I can't remember doing it. It was sound uh, before, um, lad, I don't know what happened. What's this? Is this about the wood end lane thing? There's a mod on PC uh, where you are, uh, you can get the STS hanger and stuff. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's on PC, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I've watched that video, but the blue LED not happening. <laughs> it's a good video. It's probably the best video on YouTube that'll be on the platform this year. <laughs> <laughs> People like the Kulu things like that. Right, okay. Right, we'll turn the plane in a minute. So I'm just, I'm trying to see. I need to learn how to socialise. Well, I know some people have socialisation issues and stuff. Oh, you know, I would say that makes you different. No, I don't mean different in a really bad way. You know, if you're, you're different to everyone else and not as outgoing as other people, well, you might have other skills, you know, that we that we will never have, so. You know, a lot of shy people are, you know, usually very good at what we do. Oh, push the wrong way. <laughs> push the wrong way. Are <laughs> right, you going to let me stop now? This is unbelievable. It's done it again. It's done it right, guys. I'm sorry about this. This is the game. I can't. I cannot push back without it freezing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm pushing back manually. Fuck it. I'm pushing back manually. <laughs> I was a witness. <laughs> sorry about this, guys. It's the game. The game is 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 absolutely bricked. They do this all the time. It's always ruined. They can't seem to be able to develop games. Right, okay, here we go again. I'm so sorry about this, guys. It's 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 a bug in the game. It's. <sighs> Seems to be getting worse. This game. They're making it worse. I know what they're doing here. They're making this game littered with bugs. So when the new game comes out, everyone's like, "Oh, it's so stable." What we don't realise is this game used to be stable. I know what they're doing. They're doing a typical marketing thing here, where they're trying to wreck this game as much as possible. So everyone has to is forced into buying the new, uh, the new game for however much it will be. You know, and, and it won't be just be one game either. But they'll sell it multiple different versions as well. Dulux. Dulux Lite. Um, standard. light version. Premium. You know, they'll do what Apple do. They'll, they'll, they'll make loads of versions just to make more money. You know, if you can't make games now and just call it a game, can they? But the version you get is what you see. You know. The game you get is what you see, you know, that is the definitive version. Like now games have to have all these different stupid little fiddly things. I hate it. Honestly, it's rubbish. It's probably why gaming's dying, actually. I tell you, it never used to be like that. You just used to pick up a game. I don't know, whatever. Minecraft never had that, to be fair. Just bought the game. And that was it. <laughs> that was it. A one-off purchase. But now it's like, oh, you need mine coin. There's Minecraft Dulux Edition, Premium Edition. I bet we don't even care for people on there either. You can get treated more, you know, with better service, you know? Nothing like that exists. I've just bought the uh, A320 wireless, uh, sorry, version, oh, wireless, A320 wireless. <laughs> it wouldn't fly if it was wireless. I think planes might go like that though. Instead of fly by wire, it could be like Bluetooth wire. Or you can just Bluetooth the signals to a computer that move the actuators. <laughs> How dangerous would that be? <laughs> Bluetooth not detected. Yeah, no, that that would be uh Tug needs to be fired. I just drove into the Yeah, just drove into the plane. <laughs> There's Bobby. Look, he's already moving. Right, let's not touch that at all. Just don't touch the push back button because it doesn't work. We tried it twice now and we know it doesn't work. So, yeah, sorry about the delay, guys. It's just The game is a bit buggy. Uh, only a bit buggy. It seems to be fine in the air. All the issues happen on the ground. That's the thing. It's all the ground issues and taxiing and planes disappearing and screen tear and when you're up there well, there's nothing to really process is there apart from the sky and the clouds so if anything it's a very very basic game <laughs> up in the air but 
you know, it's, it's, it is loading stuff, but it's 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 a it's a dynamic rendering engine, isn't it? So based on your internet connection, it has to load in the whole world. So if you start descending, you will see things loading in, like Doom. Uh, the Bluetooth device is ready to connect. Yeah, <laughs> ground spoilers. Bluetooth's ready for that. It might become like that. You never know. Remove flyby wire. Save weight, and they'll just. Uh, uh oh, this person's going to get hit. They'll uh, just replace it with uh, Bluetooth or something, or a wireless connection that sends data to the. I, I don't know. They probably could do that technology now, but it would be so dangerous to put passengers on it. You'd need backup. You would. You'd need the flyby wire backup, and then stuff like that. Okay. They'd never take off themselves, so the connection's so bad. <laughs> no, no, no Bluetooth fair. Alright, take off. That's on, 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 on. All them are on. We're all good, boss. Um, I'm trying to do a good job, I'm sorry. Um, right, put that on. Right, he already knows what way we're going, that's great. Uh, flight directory, we'll turn that on. Um, I did uh, Manchester to du uh, Dublin. I'm actually flight similar with Aer Lingus. Thank you for joining on the Nice. If planes had airplane mode in some future air uh, built in systems and the pilot turned it off, uh, does the plane fall to the. Well, I suppose so. So I'm going to crew on Tuesday. I'll give you the ultimate plane spotting guide for £10. Plane spotting? You mean train spotting? Uh, so we need to have a look at uh, Boeing GBT. I'm just catching up these chat messages, guys. Don't want to be behind. That's the first. Watching the premiere from the, from the pub toilet. I could hardly get connection. Right, we can get going now. There we are. We're moving. Yeah, it's normal. It's fine. All right, here we go. Yeah, Sam Cam will be back. I just need my light fixed. I've got a new one, but I want two. I want three, actually. Oh, so my throat is dead dry. Just had a um, a tikka masala, and my my throat is really dry. <coughs> Trying not to cough. <laughs> Train spotting. <laughs> I was about to say plane spotting guy for ten pounds. <laughs> I'll just join the TAS membership. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, my next flight in real life, probably a London Heathrow. Actually, I want to go back to Heathrow. I want to go back to Amsterdam, but on the Transavia, I'll probably be able to go by myself to Amsterdam. I liked Amsterdam. I really liked it. Somewhere I feel like I could be myself. It's quite a free country as well. You know, the Netherlands, Holland. You know, it's it's kind of like you know, you do your own thing. You know, obviously within reason, but you know, it's very relaxed. You know. Yeah, plane spotting, they're, you know, they're fine about that. Absolutely fine. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a very nice place. You didn't really get ripped off either. It's, it's good. I liked it. All the canals. Yeah, great. I think my, my sister might come next time, I don't know. If we're gonna go... I'll probably go before May, but I think we're going to go as a family in May. I don't, I don't know. But Amsterdam, yeah, definitely recommend it. And the CM's going soon. You've got two weeks to get on that Transavia. All right, well, I'll probably be doing that after Heathrow. Whoa, 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 slam on the brakes. Yeah, good old Thomas Cook, eh? I'm going to try and whiz down to Mallorca tonight. Get down there as quick as possible. It's already nine. We all know you like it. Mm. Poor Ian is to drive a bus for the next three hours. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, guys, just because I'm not in Discord, I, I do read everyone's chat when it says 40 messages on red. I, I, I always go back and look at everyone's comments. I'm going to have an automated bot on there so it says good morning to everybody. And piss off to everybody as well. <laughs> oh, funny. There we 
go. Do you feel sick yet? Imagine you hear your pilot say, No, the Bluetooth has lost connection. <laughs> In the tower. Oh, that would be dreadful, wouldn't it? Yep, everyone liked the multicam. Oh, it wasn't really multicam yesterday, but it was it was that idea, wasn't it? Down my road, they're uh, installing um, gigabit uh, fiber broadband, so I got uh, uh, go from my uh, crappy uh, uh, 40 megabyte uh, per second to 1 gigabyte per second, so I can install Microsoft Flight Sim in like 2 minutes. Nice. Is Bobby Tetlo? Yeah, I'm just gonna do what Bobby's doing. Yeah, ignore this guy. Ignore him. He's 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 dead. AI. There's Bobby. He's wait for me. What a legend. That'll be back, aren't I? <laughs> I'll watch Bobby take off first. There we are. How's it looking? All nice in 4K? It's gonna look better soon. <laughs> yeah, watching the It was a good day yesterday. I enjoyed everyone's company. It was so funny, wasn't it? We were talking about, yeah, about that stupid girl. <laughs> He's floating now. Traffic jam. I used to go uh, at Thomas Cook every year to Lanzarote. Nice. Yeah, we went to Menorca with Lanzarote. I think we were going to go with Thomas Cup to Lanzarote, but I think too we came through a lot cheaper. Um, and then we came back with EasyJet, that was 2019. Ooh, 2019! Go to pizza and chips tonight, heavenly. Looking sharp. Yeah, we need to get takeoff clearance as well. Yeah, I'm moving so you can properly read everything in front of you on, on, on big screen, that's the idea. There's the airport pub. Give him a little rudder flick. Oh god, don't do that. End up in the green. <laughs> you can hear me laughing all the way from the south side. Alright, go on Bobby, you go mate. Go on. I'm zoomed in. He's packing from the And you're going the 16th. Well, he's organised, isn't he? Off he goes. And he's off. I think he's in a bouncy castle. <laughs> Boing. Nice one, Bobby. Ah, it was Brill. I'm just going to get there uh, take a clue. Why is Bobby's plane floating? Not a clue. Hang on, if you watched uh, the full premiere from the pub toilet last night, does that mean uh, you watched yourself in a plain toilet in a pub toilet? Yep. Yep, that's right. I know, it's it's mad, but I just didn't have time. I, I didn't really want to be that guy who uploads YouTube videos, spends ages making the, the premiere, and then isn't there for the premiere. He's buggered off somewhere else. You know what I mean? I, I wanted to be there, so I, It was all foggy. It was really foggy, so I just ran through the fog. Got to the pub. Everyone was like, ooh, you know, watching the match. I was like, well, I'm not going to order anything. I could have ordered a Coke and sat down and enjoyed my premiere, but... I didn't, I chose to go into the bloody loo to go and watch it. Jesus, honest, honest to God. 16th of February, LS917, when's the 16th? Uh, 16th is Friday. That like Garfield flying this thing, isn't it? How <laughs> <I was> slow. <laughs> I'm going. Off we go. No messing around. I hope I've uh, turned the right way. Okay, a new spot next Saturday. What? Airport car park. 
Yeah, the laughing yesterday was just horrendous. Oh, boat take off. Lift off. Rotate. V1, rotate. <laughs> Not lift off. <laughs> there we go. Bye bye. Nice and early. What do you think of that? Oh, that shot is mad. <laughs> What's the pilot on? Right, okay. All good, all good. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you like the new thumbnails. That's the south side. Got it in the air. Okay, that's another the turns of the right after that, isn't it? Oh, no, no, we're, we're going directly south. Okay, that's good. So we'll, we'll increase our speed because I want to. I want to be getting there as quick as. There we go. No hanging round tonight. I know we had the few pushback. Tug crashes but hey what can I do I tried I tried again didn't work <laughs> no joking around here <laughs> so you sends line on that runway <laughs> yesterday when I said that's okay see you tomorrow on the premiere I thought you meant uh, the stream would uh, be today not yesterday oh okay Not that cold yesterday. Hello, good afternoon from Noah. Good afternoon. Uh, I can't wait for the weather to warm up, uh, so I don't uh, I don't freeze on Saturdays. Yeah, it is cold. I I, I notice people are cold. Uh, yeah, I remember once coming to Manchester uh, to the uh, destination Dubai, uh, and my camera died filming a Ryanair. No. I'm sure if you got AI to uh, <laughs> make a thumbnail of you for Ciderman, uh, it would probably uh, make an art like a uh, shower cap on the top of a bottle uh, of Magnus. I'd love to do that. It's a good idea, actually. What would what would Bing AI do with if I said make shower cap man with Ciderman? What 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 the hell would the image be? I know it it wouldn't be me, but it would be funny. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we like the new thumbnails. Also, it's normal for me to uh, see a tiny private jet going. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm flight radar. Look at Bobby's already at 19,000. Good on him. Yeah, see that, see that frame tear in there? I saw that. Screen tearing. Hmm. Yeah, I saw that. So it wasn't the Elgato. No, it wasn't. It wouldn't do such a thing. Especially in 2024. You know what I mean? Well, how, how old is this Elgato? When, when did it come to the market, the Elgato HD60? Yeah, I'm getting the 4KX soon. Because um, uh, I've got HDMI 2.1 cables already plugged into my uh, Xbox One. Xbox Series X, sorry, and my Samsung Odyssey G7, right? And the Elgato, yeah, can accept it, but it can't, um, it hasn't got the uh, hardware power inside of it to fully uh, make use of that performance and that, you know, um, that HDMI um, 2.1, you know, bandwidth. I think it's like something like 40. Um, 
Is it 40 megabytes of data or something it can transfer? Oh, I can't remember. Let me look it up. Data. Data rate. So the data rate for HMI one is, sorry, 48 gigabytes per second. Not 40 megabytes per second. Why did I say megabytes? It <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to 18, which I think is for uh, 2.0, HMI 2.0. So, yeah, um, basically, the new old Gasu can make, make use of that that potential it can, you know. Um. <laughs> Imagine if I work for Elgato, it can, um, 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 it can, um, uh, let me look it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that bloody pushback tug. <laughs> Where's my cider? You know, it's like, uh, I <laughs> can't even speaking speak English. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It can maximise its potential basically. HDMI 2.1. I've got them plugged in, but it can't make use of the potential. It just it can just accept it, not push it for what it's. It, you know, it's extra data rate and stuff. Yeah, Josh O'Malley, yeah, he's helping me tomorrow. I'm just charging my camera up, mate. Uh, I'm going to be taking pictures of the trains tomorrow, um, and I'm going to be using those pictures to identify them. Um, so, yeah, because I'm willing to learn. My patience level couldn't do a flight, a flight for two hours. Hmm. <laughs> I'm on autopilot. Alright, we can push that. There we go. Seatbelt signs can go off or all. Oh no, oh, I'll just turn them off. <laughs> we'll be off for takeoff! <laughs> Nav lights and logo lights can be off. Um, yeah, how are you, Josh? Ticket prices are crazy on the train. 800 uh, to go down south. Really? 800 pounds! Nova car park. So, okay, what is it? Mosnock? Oh, is it between the runways? Where the, where the tunnel is? I know people spot there. It'd be interesting to do a stream there, wouldn't it? And my mum said we have to leave at 4 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning uh, to get there and area uh, to get there uh, and also get the, the hotel. I'll be coming back home on Thursday. Okay. Uh, when I go to Iceland on Wednesday, um, I have a 6% chance of flying uh, over an erupting volcano. So you're going to Iceland on? Oh, is it school? School related. No, I'm not streaming tomorrow, uh, unfortunately. No. Yeah, it's practical train theory test. Yeah, it should be good. I can't wait. <laughs> well, I'll probably come there pissed as well. <laughs> yeah, I just see a guy stumbling and falling off a... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know how I'm going to get there. I think I need to book my train ticket, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do that now. What, what, what's the best? Transport for Wales or Avanti? I'm, I'm going to book it now. My, my, my train down there, because I'm not organised at all. I'm, I've charged my camera and everything, but I haven't even got thought about getting the, getting the train. Hang on, no, Chester. I'm going to go from Chester to crew. Uh, yeah, I'm going to return, so I'm going to leave that uh, Get there early, eh? Today? No, 12. I'm gonna leave at 8 o'clock. I'm gonna return. Uh, Alright, go 
I'm just booking my rail ticket. Ooh, it's not expensive, is it? £12. Yeah, yeah, who with? Oh, Transport for Wales. Oh, okay. Avanti. Can I get on a Pendolino from Liverpool? How do I do that? Because I've never been on one. If I could get on one tomorrow, that'd be great. Oh, hang on, let's let me look. And what time do we go out of Liverpool as well? Liverpool's crew. West Midlands trains. I could use West Midlands trains. Or... Um... West Midlands trains. <laughs> or... Avanti West Coast, which will definitely be a Pendolino, because they don't use voyages in Liverpool, do they? I've got all this information coming through now. <laughs> Train to crew from Chester. I'm not even being on Avanti. They're not great. Make sure to test uh, Sam on where platform one is. He always forgets. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I get disorientated. Because sometimes when I come out on the right side of a train, um, which I have done before at crew, I think platform one is uh, right ahead, and that's like platform 12. I'm like, oh, hang on, it's behind me. You know what I mean? I've done that. I did that in November. I gave myself a hard time over it as well. Three or flight and flight severe. Now I get bored after less than 20 minutes because uh, me have a, a boredom attack at one hour. Right, I think what I'll do, I'll go with West Midlands Railway and come back on a Pendolino. I don't know. Or on a Vancey or whatever. Every 40, uh, three to the hour. Okay. He <laughs> can't say anything about a Vancey. He might be working for them. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so what time's that? Are you, no, I'm not going to arrive at time. I might have to pick that one. I, I want to be on time. I don't want to keep him waiting because it's cold, isn't it? And he'd be, he'd be upset from pissing round. Sorry about this. I'm booking a train halfway through a stream. How professional. I've given up being professional on YouTube now. I, I, I just let it flow. You don't get any more any any more viewers uh, on YouTube by being professional or you know, pretends wearing a mask. Yeah, you know, that's streaming. Pretends to be all child friendly and oh, like everybody else. Nah, I've given up with that now, I really have. Uh I just want to be myself on streams. I look back at what I was doing in 2019 and stuff. I was too busy holding the door. <laughs> no, um, I, I, I do. I, 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 I enjoyed it more. I think I enjoyed YouTube more in 2019. I've been looking at some of my old videos, and I just, I just feel like this, this passion. I don't have to please anybody. I'm not overwhelmed to please anybody. The people that stuck with me knew me, and you know, didn't have to impress anybody, or you know. Um, act like, you know, like some silly thing I'm not, you know, like, oh, I'm a, I'm a bitching YouTuber, you know, and all that, I just enjoyed it, I was very relaxed, you know, took my time with things, um, and I think I enjoyed it more because I wasn't pressured to be someone I wasn't, you know, wearing a mask, trying to uh, be someone I'm not, to impress people um, who don't know me, and then instead, you know, I was just, just being myself, wasn't I? I'm trying to impress anybody. I think it's with all this Manchester Airport stuff, live stream, it's like, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this, you should do that. So, 8 o'clock. Hang on a minute, I'm getting all confused here. I'm terrible at booking trains. You're going to have to show me how to book a train, Josh. Cause I, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. Who's that? Who are they? Who are West Midlands trains? Are they reliable? What did we do? <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> right, okay, just booked a 741. Oh, is that a bit early? Mm. It's a balance, isn't it? Come on, idiot. Think, think, think. 
Which one are you gonna book? Just book it now. All <laughs> oh, right, I'll get the 741. Blah blah blah. 41 minutes long. It's not. Long. Yeah, 740. Is that 740? Yeah, 740. All right, book that. Coming back. 1226. Let's squeeze that way. I'll let the diversity. I'll come back with the West Midlands people. As long as I don't end up in West Midlands. <laughs> That'll be fine. Okay, it goes by Runcorn and all that. Alright. Okay, so 12.32 come back. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know where the tra lifts are at Liverpool. Um, 7.40, come back at 12.32. Alright, that ain't fine. I'll be back for the caretaker as well. Um, if, I was going to Man if I was going to Manchester, I wouldn't be back. Hang on, before I... Let's see. Avanti, platform 9. And the West Midlands people. I don't know why I'm calling them West Midlands people! <laughs> platform 11. What, what, what do they use? What trains do they use? Tractors. <laughs> Tractors. <laughs> right, it's booked. Done. I'm going tomorrow. Real good. Processing your ticket. And it's done. There we go. Get the boarding passes. There we go. Alright. We're good. All booked, all fan dabby dozy. Ah, it's 4130 as well. Hello, mate. Oh, it's over speeding. Uh oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Look at a little scared chicken. That should I manage. Uh, I haven't slept since before Friday, that's over 48 hours ago without sleep, but I am uh, still not feeling tired. Good thank you Josh, how are you? Off to food tomorrow to see Sam. I hear good luck. <laughs> good luck! <laughs> yeah, he'll make sure I don't end up falling over and tripping over my own shoelaces and that landing on the platform and then getting ran over by a a huge diesel train. Yeah, that that'll be all fine. <laughs> oh, safety first. Harness. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get over here. Snatch me back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shower cat man's going to crew for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fence up on all the platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice. Yeah, is this Iceland? Yeah. Icelandic friends, he's, got, uh, he's going to see his Icelandic friends, nice. I used to be able to cope with. Oh, I've already read that, haven't I? Uh, Uh, did I just hear Sam say he wants uh, to be on time? <laughs> what time do you uh, need to be at school for? I can uh, look at some uh, options for Pembelinas. Uh No, I've already booked it now. Oh, okay, I I'll be getting that wrong call. Okay, right. Nice, <laughs> first class. Imagine if in 2019 that door had a door stop. I know. I was outside that school today and I was just thinking, that's where that door is. 
did a good job. I know, I did a good job. I did a good job. I know, anyone can do a good job in my world. I could do a good job at anything. Oh, I did a good job flushing the toilet today. Yeah, I did a good job holding the door. Honestly, it's pathetic. Where am I off to? Crew, no exciting. Ellen, 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 WR, class 350. What's a class 350? My advice, book every. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't booked that. I'll be waiting around at Crew for ages now. Yeah, hello, Form 3, how are you? Uh, I'm going to get the other people to see us there, uh, and that's uh, a definite decision. So is that next week or the week after? My train gets in at 9.21. Okay, so I booked a little earlier. I'm not doing either, Kieran. Uh, I, I'm uh, I'm going to do the train spot and tr sorry, plane spot and stream another time in the week. I don't know whether you saw the message, uh, Sam, but in 2005 you said you were interested in trains and then in 2023 you found out uh, they had bloody wheels. I know, I know, I know. Uh, your West Midlands train will be on uh, London North Westonbury Railway, Sam, uh, Class 350. What's that? What's that look like? It's a Class 350. Oh, that thing. Oh, that's awful. Oh, is that the... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm? Thanks, CM. I think everybody knows something, you know. No, right. We're flying quite slow, aren't we? Right, can we speed up a little bit? Should really be over channel by now. Garfield speed, you know. I'm gonna go and get my bar drink. Raspberry. Yeah, good old Thomas Cook. Hey, unfortunately we can't go in the back because uh, we've got a hard limit here. We can't go into the back. What train do you guys recommend me getting on, though? Like one that I think I would really enjoy getting on. What do you think? <laughs> I'll try and get on it. I suppose it's not as rare as planes. I don't think anything will be able to top that privileged 777 and the, the complex coordinating I had to do with that. You know what I mean? Speaking to controllers at Manchester Airport. Stuff and dates and stuff. and. Yeah, a lot of people involved in that. CM and Paul Klar, mainly. Uh, who's saying Garfield? Uh, the lasagna eating cat is slow. Yeah, we've got a new cat. What's her name? Jess. No, not Jess. Nova. Yeah, it should be a laugh, yeah. I'm a naughty boy. I can't behave. <laughs> Anyone who knows me at the airport knows I'm, I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit naughty. I <laughs> <laughs> love that. <laughs> Not really naughty, but I'm a cheeky bugger. Class 197. That's in the 197. Nova, yeah, that's a name. He's fast when he sees lasagna and pizza, yeah. What's this, M172? Aren't they retired? Seems to remember the class one. Yeah, they are, they're retired. How do I know that? <laughs> I 
scream at place now. <laughs> uh. Jess is the name of a girl he's secretly seeing. There's no girl I'm secretly seeing. At least I don't think so. If you guys want to be a girl that I will be secretly seeing, leave me a comment. Or if you want to marry me, leave me a <laughs> leave me a comment if you want to marry me. Oh God. What's a one nine seven? Looking it up. What is that? Oh, I've been on them. Oh, yeah, I've been on thousands of them. Oh, yeah, they're boring. Oh, yeah, I've been on hundreds of them back from Manchester. Oh, yeah. No, I've been on loads. I'll tell you the trains I think look good, okay? In my opinion. I like the Pendolinos. I like the um, Class 37s, those diesel ones. I like them. They just look really dirty. And I like the... Uh, what are they called? Class 158s. I think they look good as well. They're the ones I think look good. And the one in Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, which is an E something, blah, blah, blah. But they're the ones I think look good. In my opinion. So, yeah. Carriages on. Go on the Oyster, son. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Does it, how fast it go? 200 miles an hour or something? Yeah, I think I saw a Eurostar at Amsterdam. I think I did. Yeah, at Schiphol Station. Not Schiphol Station. Um, Amsterdam um, Centre. Amsterdam Central. Yeah. Really funny, when we got to Amsterdam, we were at the back of the station and Dad said, this isn't how I remember looking at Amsterdam looking. Who's <laughs> at the front? You go to the front, it looks all nice. No, I don't like the new Mersey Road trains. I think they're just disgusting. You have to click a button for the door to open. You know, we didn't learn anything in COVID, did we? We haven't got any hand sanitization things um there's loads of poles in the middle i've seen people in wheelchairs struggling to get through the middle bit because there's a great big bloody pole as if it was made for bloody pole dancers you know it is it's it's the ideal train for a pole dancer for a stripper the, the mersey rail trains the new ones seriously the amount of bloody poles and bars on it it's like unbelievable yeah i've seen people struggle with wheelchairs i thought i haven't pulled that through have I? Could have been something that collapsed, I don't know, and come down, so we could navigate the wheels through, but no, and put it down once the wheels, the, the wheelchair is where it needs to be. But no, we didn't think of that. Don't try walking to the shops when you're uh, in the tunnel, though. I, I fell over because you're, you're going that fast. Really? Oh, okay. I don't like the food though. I'm sure we do Magnus and stuff. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had alcohol on a train. I don't think I've ever done that. No. <laughs> uh. Uh, 
We'll end up with a few new operators over there. I'm gonna get my drink. I keep saying that I'm gonna get my drink, and I don't get it. Oh, he's gone fast, doesn't he? I hope oh, we haven't got that flap issue. We haven't got that flap issue, have we? Not diverting. This seems to be going quite slow, doesn't it? Yeah, it seems to be going real. Oh, have we got that flap issue again? I think we have, you know. They need to fix this game, they really do. I don't know why it overspeeds when it's below the red, because it should really be overspeeding when it's in the red. See, it's overspeeding now. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be getting very slow. I was just entered a competition for a. Uh, Flights to Beijing from Manchester with Hainan Airlines, nice. I'm going to Scotland on the train soon, nice. Yeah, no, it is buggy. It, it, it's a terrible game. They they seem to be making it worse. I've definitely noticed that. There's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of bugs when it first released. Uh, and I think there's still loads of bugs. I think it's one of those games where they just can't... They haven't got a very desired um, team working on it. And they're, they're probably, probably right at the bottom of a barrel of like expertise. Because it's probably cheaper for Microsoft to, to hire them, them than experience programmers I mean it is a technical marvel this game but a lot of the bugs really let it down yeah like really basic bugs as well what they should do a lot of games is if they're not capable of narrowing down bugs they should have like communities that can submit them and then fix them you know what I mean like dedicated like modding communities well not mods but people that have access to the code files and stuff and um can basically fix bugs that are submitted under obviously Microsoft and uh, Sobo's um, supervision and oversight, you know, so we don't break the game or something. We don't want another cyber cyberpunk, <laughs> do we? And uh, connection's going funny again. Fantastic. Archer Fishwood House in the East. I've never heard no, I've never heard of it. Sure it'll be nice though. I don't think I have never been to Scotland. I've seen it. I've flown over Scotland. Or Scottish Islands and stuff and all that. But I've ne I've never actually been to Scotland. Never. I've been to Wales. I've been to I've driven through East Midlands. Driven through Birmingham. I don't think I've ever actually been into Manchester before, never. I've just been through it. I've never been to Manchester. I know, unbelievable. I've been to Liverpool, I've been to Chester, I've been to Tannery about five million times. But apart from that, I, I, I don't like cities. I don't know, I don't like all the people. I hate, I hate all the people, I think. Loads of people, cities, crowded areas, tiny small little restaurants. Just, uh, I think, I, I think Covid really, uh, changed the way I see things like I think I don't want to get anyone upset here but I think um, in the next probably 20 years we probably will have another pandemic because I just think we didn't learn a thing from Covid seriously I don't, I don't think we learned anything I think we'll have better technology in 20 years to tackle it but I think 
in terms of people just carrying on. Like, nobody wears masks anymore, which is, yeah, understandable. But then you don't see any hand sanitization units anymore. Like, you just go along and sanitize your hands, and people wearing gloves where there's a lot of people mingling and still having to click buttons. I mean, yeah, contactless and stuff. That's great because you don't have to click buttons that loads of other people have clicked. Um, but yeah, it's just like, you know, they're, they're, they don't have many automatic doors. They still have people that have to pull and push doors. And in some places, they just don't seem to have windows open. It's just like, mm, they haven't learned a lot, have they? they you know, we're, we're, we're up against, if we continue with this and people not being hygienic. And then you've got, you go, I never go into Costa now. Honestly, I, don't, I can't remember the last time I went to Costa, probably a month ago. I just don't go there anymore because I don't trust the hygiene. Toilets are always down. Uh, a mother changing a little baby's nappy on the table and then just walked off. And then some other elderly people sat there. It's just grim. Um, and, um, yeah, it's kind of upsetting, isn't it? It's like, yeah, okay, well... I know you go to McDonald's and it's like a million times worse, like kids... I don't know. Spitting onto the table and stuff. <laughs> Sticking chewies and stuff and you know, gagging onto the table and everything and all those iPads and you know, pick my nose and play Roblox on the Mackie's iPads and stuff, yeah, it's just I don't know. A bit disappointing really. People gozzing all over the, uh, the touchscreen menu things. Ah, <laughs> oh, too! <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, God. I lost my granddad to COVID, so I, I see the world a lot differently, like hygiene and stuff. Like, yeah, we, we haven't learned much, have we? We learned a lot at the time, but that was for our own selfish rights. I've been to Manchester Airport. Manchester Airport isn't in Manchester. It's in it's it's in Cheshire. It's actually in Cheshire. Are you acoustic? Um, I don't think I'm acoustic. No. I have got an acoustic. Uh, just checking, and I'm on Avanti West Coast. Oh God. Nah, I, I think they're all right, but uh, mm, they seem very busy. If I win, I look like I'm going to Beijing. I swear, I'm I have a direct that. Cyber junk. Nah, I'm an uh, I'm electric. I'm not acoustic. I play electric guitar. I'm going to the UK to work with all. Uh <laughs> taking the mic here. So I was gonna get my drink. Has he got it yet? No. I'll meet uh, you on uh, the ground uh, in PMI, okay. What joke? What joke did I miss? I've been on a van to Scotland too. No, but where is it? Where's the joke? Cyber junk, more like uh, Sam's drunk. <laughs> cider junk. Did he say cider junk? No, he said cider junk. The cider is junk. Yeah, he's right. Ain't good for you. Right, that's going off. That's going off. That's going off. Not happy with that.
partners. Disable. Weather. Disable. Info. Disable. 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 History. We'll keep that on. Go on. Yeah, I know. I know what he was saying, <laughs> but he didn't. He, he couldn't spell autistic, right? Could he? He put oh, acoustic. progress. Why wasn't the message deleted by the mods either? You know, that's potential hate comment. You know, well, I'll, I'll get rid of it then. It's alright, I'll get rid of it. We're capable. Now that's stupid, I can get a joke, you know. He couldn't spell. Look at that. No, I don't think I am. I, I, th I think I've just got a bit of a wacky personality. And I, I, and I make no apolo apologies for it. People who say, oh, you should be like this, and oh, you should be like that, and oh, you should be like this, and oh, you should be like that. I don't fucking care. People at Manchester who do their streams, they can do their own thing. They can do all their similar copy and paste stuff, copy and paste, copy and paste, and they're all the same, and they're successful for it. I don't care. I'd rather be unsuccessful um, than be you know, um, like everybody else, copying everybody else, doing the exact same formula and being successful for it. I don't, I make no apologies. I'm having my own ideas, presenting in a different way and uh, having some silly things up on my channel sometimes. I make no apologies for because I'm expressing myself. I don't think we will understand that either. It's like art flows out of me. Uh, I play guitar. I do things that you shouldn't do. Yeah, written in some old fucking book, right? This is about that thick, called music theory, guitar theory. And if you've ever read guitar theory, guys, it's the biggest load of shit ever because it says you can't do this here, you can't do that there. So what people will be reading go, oh, it's music theory. Hmm. Oh, it says I can't do this. So what you get is what you get now on radio. You get musicians that sound all the same, okay? Whereas people who break the rules and write their own book, you know, we might get loads of like, oh, hate for it. But in the end, people are like, at least it's different, you know. It's the same with YouTube. No one ever told me how to do anything with making videos, you know. No, no, one, no one had to, no one was willing to spend the time with me to teach me anything with doing YouTube or Final Cut or. Cinema 4D or you know any of my any of my software, I just, I just locked myself up in my room, my room and just learned it all. No one wanted to spend the time with me to, to to teach me. Or when I, when I tried to do it at school, I never did do it. I couldn't understand the formula, so I just did my own thing on the computer. Porn.com. <laughs> Why should I end? I don't want to go to China. Oh, Manchester Airport website. Why would I want to go to China? Honestly, what? Why would I want to go to China and fly Be Air Beijing? Oh, Hainan, sorry, Air Beijing. <laughs> I don't think they exist. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, guys, come back from crew tomorrow with Air Beijing. Oh, too many sliders. I entered off Instagram. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a link to it. On the, on the story, right, okay. Oh, 
go try down there. We've got strawberry daiquiri in the in the uh, freezer cocktail. I don't think I'm gonna have that. Oh, my phone's dead. Where's the anchor? There it is. Oh no, it doesn't click onto the stand, does it? When it's got the anchor in the back. Can I charge it? Can I charge it vertically? So it can fit on the stand. Yeah, yeah I think some stand manufacturers are going to have to incorporate that into the build a bit more of a a bigger uh, base plate because people now with their cables and wireless charging and MagSafe stuff they want to be able to charge stuff and mount it there just seems to be a uh, probably seems to be a market for that at the moment but I don't think anyone's making anything you know when you try and clean guitars as well you try and clean between the strings or usually you have to chop off all the strings and tune them up again to, to, to clean them. I think there should be a device that cleans the strings on your guitar without you chopping the strings off, like a device that cleans the fretboard. And just where the saddles sit, not the saddle, uh, the, the pickups sit, the boogie bodies, and able to clean all underneath. Have you ever tried to clean a guitar fretboard whilst the strings have been on? Yeah, you know how difficult it is. I think there should be a device that just cleans it all underneath without you having to chop your, your strings off. All material that we make it out of that cleans itself. Oh, wh how ridiculous! In 2019, I was like this. I was saying stuff like, um, there should be a hat that cuts your hair for you. You put it on, it cuts your hair, and then you take it off, and you've got a nice, lovely haircut. Yeah, <laughs> bowl <Bowled. laughs> Looks like one of the Beatles. <laughs> well done, Sam. <laughs> Fantastic invention. Yeah. Or shoes that cut the lawn for you. I don't know, you just walk around the lawn on some grass and it cuts it for you. Why does that not exist? Yeah, hat that cuts your hair, washes it, and then dries it. Yeah. Come out with a prune. <laughs> like, a, like a little old lady. <laughs> oh god, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, gloves that cut your, your, your fingernails for you. You can have that. It sounds like a disaster, doesn't it? Chopping off all your fingers. <laughs> it like gets to learn your finger shape and stuff, and it cuts your, your, cuts your fingernails. <laughs> or for your woman, it can do your nails for you. Yeah, gloves that do your nails for you. Why does this stuff not exist? We're in 2024. Why do we not have a hat that cuts people's hair, blow dries it, or shampoos it, all that, cleans it, blow dries it, and then, and then styles it? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you try to code it and you got it all wrong. It really screws up your hair. You'd end up looking like Jedward. <laughs> Oh god. Seems funny. Mm. Yeah, to eat Chinese food. Yeah, you can eat Chinese food in Liverpool. Oh, do you want to go on high now? I'm going to fly along. I'm going to go now, I'll be back in time for descent and landing. I mean, you can do Tenerife Airlines, man's TFN. Nightbot uh, comes up uh, with some interesting facts that you've already heard. Uh, I tested that hat, and look what, <laughs> look what happened to me! <laughs> oh, God. Better go now, another mock tomorrow. And uh, need sleep. Uh, see you all in the next one. See ya. Been looking at cheap uh, European business class flights. Very nice. Never should be a hat that does that for you. A hat that cuts your hair. Yeah. That's good.
It'd be like the most British invention ever. If you're at the bar, sat, sat at the bar, the pump from the barrel just goes straight into your, your glass. But you've got to keep your glass at the bar, and you just click a button and it refills it for you. So it's a self um, refilling glass. Why does that not exist? And it just charges your card. Before you click the button, it comes up with a little thing, and you've got to do Apple Pay or whatever, or Google Pay or whatever, Android Pay. And then it refills the glass for you about some you having to go up to the bar, so contacting someone's hand, you know, germs. Yeah, you just leave leave a glass there. The pump wire goes into it or the, the trunk goes into the, the, the bottom of the glass and it just refills it. Why does that not exist? Probably because of germs. Think about it. You, you're drinking from it. So I'm saying, yeah, it doesn't have to. But, but the woman at the at the bar or the, the guy at the bar doesn't have to touch your glass. And, yeah, but think about it. You're drinking from it. So all your germs go down that pipe into the barrel where it's coming up from. Yeah, or maybe it disconnects or something. I don't know. Like it turns itself off. I don't know, like a lock or something or unplug. I don't know. Why does that not exist? Why do we have to have driverless cars? Why can't we have more interesting things like that? Oh, YouTube's broken. Well done, guys. It's like a freak show at YouTube, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so in the hole. Oh, damn it, come on. Uh oh. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> uh. Right, okay. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen, mate. It was just, just, it was just a matter of time, wasn't it? Well, it was Jamie as well. He's building Tannery Fairport in Minecraft or something, he said. And it's taken him a long time, so he's probably working on that. Unless we've scared him off. Uh. Mm, sorry. I'm gonna go and get my bar soda. It's not bar soda. We do we do we do a flavour called cream soda. Doesn't mean everything else is soda. Wait, what did I? It was, it was the amount of beer icons, I think, probably. Las Vegas uh, Super Bowl tonight, really? Yeah, you scared him off. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. He's laughing like a chicken next door. 
Maybe it is a chicken. Punch it up on me, blah blah blah, my piano. I had cream soda yesterday. Worst decision of my life. It's quite a nice drink. I like it. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, I've been looking nice and good. Yeah, all good. Nice views out. I just talk rubbish during these streams. Been able to book my uh, train ticket. Gonna charge my other camera battery. Um, oh, we must use that camera. <laughs> is it half term for everybody as well? Or not? Oh, yeah, CM, is there any way to automatically update the um, your plugins in this game? Like, oh shit, for example, your. Um, you know if you've got like the 330 or something, the 330 Neo, it's supposed to go into content manager and seeing if there's a new update. Is there any way to like automatically update um, your purchases and stuff? Or do we just do that anyway, I don't know. Worst drink I've ever had, what? Cream soda? I like it. No, bar cream soda. Have I heard of co Coke Float? What's Coke Float? <laughs> Taylor Swift will get into a private jet when her a glass of water is on the other side of her room. Yeah, I know. No, you have to do it there. Half term this week for some, and uh, next week for others are. So you guys can stay up later, is that why? Uh, we went uh, to an Indian uh, last night. Uh, me and my bro ordered tikka masala, and when the guy left, he, he, we heard a bang, 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 bang. My mum said, uh, must have uh, been them um, uh, killing the chicken. <laughs> yeah, we, we make sick jokes like that all the time. Yeah, I haven't been to an Indian for ages, actually. We don't go to the local one anymore because my dad got E. coli. Got the E. coli from the place, you know? E. coli, yeah. I don't want to get. <coughs> oh, balls like a bull. Ah, uh, fiddling round. I need to get my drink and relax instead of looking at all these settings. Drives me pretty brain crazy. Coke float is coke with ice cream in it. Alright. I think, um, I like vanilla coke, I like cherry coke. There was one they did, uh, oh, what was it? I don't I can't remember. We didn't do it for very long. Well, these are nice ones, we didn't do it for very long. We just get used to the other ones. Yeah, vanilla coke's quite nice. I, don't remember. I like some of the LucasAid as well. I remember LucasAid they did that, um, oh, what was it? Oh. There was one they did and it was multicolored. Was it LucasAid Tropical? No. Oh, what was it? It was like really nice. Oh, I think they only did it in 2015. I remember buying it every single day in April in 2015. I used to come home. I get my all my different flavored Skittles as well. Um, alien crisps. You know those alien crisps, the sour thing ones. Nice of a monster munch. 50p crisps. Um, my, my sour Skittles. Maluka's Aiden, I'll just do Skyrim. I'll just, I'll just do a Skyrim video for like three hours and then upload them. <laughs> they were the times. <laughs> they were the times.
We want to go play to New York. Oh, trains around the noisy kids, yeah. Uh -huh. Space Invaders, that's it. Space Invaders, I love them. They're lovely. Yeah, lovely crisps. Why, why would you have to buy walkers? Have you noticed as well, when you go to Spain, the crisps are so much nicer than they are here. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, lovely the crisps over there. And they're not like 90% air either, they're like, you know, a good 60% crisp. And, yeah. I saw a joke on Facebook once. It was um, the crisps. But in the, in the packet of crisp, it was just one massive crisp. <laughs> and the idea was you, you broke it down, you, you smashed the packet up, and you, and you, you have to break it down. Oh, <laughs> ridiculous. Imagine that. You open a packet of walkers and it's just one massive crisp. <laughs> or just a potato. <laughs> you know, just a massive crisp. You eat it like a poppadom. You know what I mean? Oh, God. YouTube, get some engineers. Munchies. I always put chocolate in the fridge, yeah, chocolate in the fridge is best. Bed is calling. That's a man of 18 years saying that. I like a lot of crisps. I'm a bit of a bugger for crisps. I love I love snacking. I graze a lot. I love grazing. Eat an orange and then I'll have a packet of crisps and then a Lindor chocolate bar and a, a cider. You know, I'm, I'm a bit of a bugger for that. Um, it's not really good for your teeth, is it? But, uh, yeah. I think a lot of people in lockdown were grazing. Yeah, very much so. We are doing a lot of that. Why am I talking about lockdown all of a sudden? Alright, bitrate's gone horrendous. Fantastic. That should pick up. Yeah, I'm moving furniture tomorrow in the primary school, so he needs me a little earlier. But I can still, I can st well, of course I can do crew, we've booked it now. It would be, be, would be a bit stupid if I said, yeah, uh, I can't come tomorrow, Josh. I know uh, you just heard me book my train ticket. Oh. No, I can definitely make it. I just can't go to the airport, that's all, because then it'll be another f four hours, three hours, whatever, however long. Yeah, I, I need to move furniture, he needs me to move the piano from the hall to the staff room. I love working there, I think it's fun, I'm appreciated. Everyone appreciates me there. Okay, I don't get paid, but, you know, if I enjoy it, that's what matters. And um, I think it probably will maybe become a part-time job. But that's fine for me at the moment. You know, I've, I've quit college. I wasn't happy with it. I knew... Um, I, I just found it very um, easy. Uh, I found it quite an easy uh, course. And they're doing an aviation if they've got enough votes. I don't know. I don't even know if college is the answer in my life. But um, I think I can study because I did a lot of study in sixth form. But... Um, I don't know. You always work your way up in these places, and that's the thing. If you end up, because that's the thing. It's not a case of oh, I'm not going to college. I'm not doing anything. It, you know, it's not that at all. I, I go. Everyone knows I work in a primary school, so I've already got my foot in the door. You know, I've got my foot in the door somewhere. And if you've got your foot in the door, you know, win-win. Work your way up at any time. 
Needs to be on a rotor. A roster. No, a rotor. Uh. A rooster. <laughs> Needs to be on a rooster. If you work in, a, in, in an Indian restaurant, you definitely need to be onto a rooster. <laughs> If I gave us this fancy job, you might have slacked it off before. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. To be honest, I left a, a, a pack of um, off-bread, off-brand gummy bears in a, a container on a, a dash of a car on a, on a June summer's day when I came back from where they melted and f fused. Ugh. I like gummy bears. Vimto do gummy bears. I'm a bit of a fan of Vimto. I like Vimto stuff. I always like their drinks. I think they changed their recipe as well. I don't know why they do this stuff. Stick with the current. Well, I'm still blasting out 4K. Everyone's poor eyes. You heard about this Apple Vision Pro as well? Apparently, people are saying um, that the quality of looking at people is in 720p, and when they take it off, they feel cross-eyed or something. That isn't great, is it? I don't know if I'd buy one. I don't really see the point. I don't know if you can capture from it. Can you capture? You must be able to capture the screen from it. Yeah, you, you must be able to. That'd be interesting, though. Hmm. Show me little brain can think of something. Something useless. <laughs> sure, Sam. Uh, uh, a container of off uh, 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 bread gummy bears around that. <laughs> oh, what? Ugh. Right, I'm gonna go and get me drink now. I'm thirsty. Hang on, I don't actually need this because this anchor thing can collapse its flappy bit at the back, and I can charge it and use it as a stand. There you are. Why am I? Why? Am I? What I was trying to do is mount it onto the my um. What do you call it? A phone stand. I was trying to put my phone and charge it. My anchor um, MagSafe thing. Or mag go, it's a mag go, isn't it? Um, but it can't do it because the base thing can't support a phone or mount a phone and a phone case. So, what it has at the back of this anchor thing, it has like a flappy bit, and you can fold that flappy bit and make it collapse like a little case, and it turns into a little nice stand, and you can just charge it there. It's slipping a bit, though, that's the only thing because of the the texture of my, my new phone case, it's like silicon, so it's slipping. So maybe maybe we do actually need to make phone stands that can mount things at the back of it, like power banks. How long is the flight? Uh, um, let me have a little look. Where are we over now? Where's the med? I'll put it in another hour. Yeah, made really good progress. Going as fast as we can, mate. Probably over, um... Switzerland? I think Geneva's over this way. No, Geneva's there. LSGG, that's Geneva. That's Switzerland. Because you can, you can really extend this map out. There we are. 
Never done that before, have I? Yeah, you just keep going like that. Got like drag it. So there's Menorca. There's Mallorca. Still got a bit. Bit left to go. And how many nautical miles have you got? Uh, if I've got uh, 377 nautical miles. Okay. Uh, I've got. 188 nautical miles. That was my map. Oops, no. Access the camera. There's an eight. And we'll just shrink that before somebody complains. There we go. Fine. Yeah, I don't know um, in terms of... Uh, where I'm going to go after Heathrow. Probably bloody Tenerife again. Alright, Tenerife. I do like Tenerife. Too much. I just, I just feel like, you know, I can do my own thing there. I can do the plane spotting. I can have a bit of fun. I know where to eat. I know all the good restaurants. I can recommend things as well. There's nothing better than going somewhere you like and knowing stuff about it and being able to do YouTube and plane spotting things you know it's like is that, is that the ultimate perfect place I could do Lanzarote because I know uh, Playa Blanca quite well I know there's good restaurants there and good place to have breakfast and yeah Playa Blanca Flamingo Beach kind of area the Rustica great pizza place um, Chinese as well a good Chinese there so I could, I could do Lanzarote but Playa Blanca is like the other side of the island of Lanzarote where Lanzarote airport is that's like Arecife. But yeah, I could do Lanzarote. I know, I know there's other streamers that claim they do Lanzarote and stuff, but we don't really do Lanzarote. We, we just like to, they just like what I did a few years ago and they've gone there loads. So, um, yeah, I could always do Lanzarote. I'd love to do like a three hour show there. Um, but yeah, I mean, Lanzarote, I like Lanzarote. I think I've done a lot of Tenerife, I do agree. I have done Tenerife a lot because I like it. But yeah, if there are passengers on the A320, please show me. Oh no, he's not on that. I didn't even know you could enlarge it. Yeah, you can enlarge it. Come on, lads, we all know we can enlarge it. <laughs> Just on Valentine's Day. I shouted that, my neighbours can probably hear that, but he's thinking, oh, there he is, there he goes again, the prick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you later, Shark Face, take care. Oh shit, I just turned off the comment section. And I've come back to me at the start of the stream. God, YouTube. Seriously. a smart light bulb now. <laughs> I can connect to my phone. This is the thing in the future, everything will be connected to your phone. You might as well just live in your phone. Yeah, I can turn the light on with my phone. I'm supposed to click in a switch. Oh no, the switch doesn't mean anything now. But a, a, a light switch? What? They still exist in 2024. What? We won't have any fingers in the future, will we? We'll just have like a voice. Uh -huh. Turn on the light. Uh -huh. It turns on the light. Uh -huh. Turn it green. It turns on the green. <laughs> Understand any Muppet. Right, my bit rate's going bad. Shit. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, sorry guys, I know we are. I think they're going to be fixing it soon, so or making improvements. They always say they're making improvements. I was on the EE app the other night and it said, uh, EE app's down at the moment, uh, we're making improvements. Have they made any improvements? Probably not. They always say they make improvements. They never make improvements. They made improvements. Why do you keep saying you have to make improvements? Yeah, my connection's going bad, guys. I apologise. Uh, I feel like I'm DJ sometimes. How do I go so quick? I'm not sure. Vision Pro is uh, insanely expensive. I can see it taking off. I can't see it taking off, sorry. No, me neither. Yeah, my connection's going fucking shit now. Fantastic. Thanks, Virgin. Sods. Right, let me try and reset it, guys, because it's not good enough. Just give us a minute. Improvements better be improvements. Nah, that's fluctuating a bit. Gonna have to go to bed, Sam, as I'm knackered. Alright, see you later, Martin. Don't need this, you know. It cost a fortune and they can't run a decent service, not good enough at all. Yeah, don't go through Virgin, guys. You only end up with disappointments. Bastards. I wasn't nice to him the other day on the phone. I had, like, all this anger. I was, fix it, fix it. I'm not fixing it myself. I spend enough time fixing things. It's been quite a long flight, hasn't it? One hour something. It's fluctuating. Fluctuating like mad. I'm going to mute. I'm going to try and fix these issues. Give us a sec.
Right, okay. Can't do anything about it, fortunately. I'm gonna go and get my drink. Um and cool the hell down. It's just annoying. Can't work with anyone when they're you know not doing anything for you, helping you. Uh you were talking about Virgin Media. I don't know if we were gonna swap. I, I really don't know. Maybe. It is later in the evening, they usually fuck around a lot in the evening, messing things around. Um, but yeah, 16th fate, apparently, supposedly, upgrade the system. I'm not looking forward to anything because I don't think they'll do anything, just from experience with these companies. Um, Is anyone still in the chat? Space podcast still there? Okay. I'm gonna go and get my drink, guys. Be back in a minute.
Right, I'm back. Sorry, internet connection issues. I'm trying to fix them. Uh, so yeah, uh, hello everyone. Yeah, I think they're going to get a kick up the backside tomorrow again, unfortunately, from me. Um, yeah, how's everybody doing? God, everyone's talking. Uh, so I wasn't that here. I'm still here. Um, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Uh, flew Thomas Cook and it was uh, it was all right until the flight attendant started acting weird near me. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, leave me... Uh, ham and cheese toasty alone. I think planes, I'm here. Hello. Not streaming this time, are they? Sam is crazier than Simon sometimes. Uh, so watch out. Uh, he, he might just bite. He <laughs> from mad planet madness. Uh, he wants some sort of uh, malfunction to happen. Um, and he stalls. No, we won't be stalling. Our last flight was with Thomas Cook. Nice. Antalya, Turkey. So sad it's gone. <laughs> it's toilet wonders! What? What happened? Oh, it's because I'm... <laughs> Yeah, so about the connection. It's just a pain in the backside. Yeah, real shame, really. I don't know if it's the computer. I don't think it is. I think it's generally, gen genuinely the connection uh, with Virgin. It's just a bit shit. Come on. Doing speed tests. I've got my bar soda. Was it bar raspberry? Ra 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 raspberry aid. Oh, okay, it's raspberry aid. It's quite nice stuff. It's like slushy, but in a can. Yeah, it's just fluctuating. It can't settle. At all, the connection. It just cannot settle down. It can't pin it to 14. It's going everywhere. The meter thing's telling the truth. It is fluctuating. Watching Apollo 13 with uh, my Neil Armstrong flight suit jumper. Oh my god, how sad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, I, just, I just get angry. I, I get angry when they can't do their job. Because I've got loads to sort out and I, I just do not have time to be calling them and stuff and saying, hey, you know, what, what's going on here? You know, they should just fix it. Quite unreasonable, actually, but, you know, you know, you need a strong person, don't you? You need a strong leader to say, hey, you know where you stand. Fix it. Yeah, Siderman told them off. It's been told off by Cyberman. It's like the sort of thing they'd bring into a school, isn't it? Shower cat man. You're an assembly. What would you do, Space Podcast, if I turned up at your school on the stage? <laughs> with a shower cap on. <laughs> with cider. Burping. <laughs> Being absolutely stupid. Right, so I'm going to head to bed. Uh, probably message you in the morning, mate. All right. Graphics look really good. Um, I can see. What flight sim is it? It's... Flight Sim 2020. Soon to be replaced by Sat Flight Sim um, 2024, which really, I don't know how that's going to go. I think they're probably rushing it. I've got a feeling it's going to come out this year. They've announced it, and I think it's probably going to be rushed. I don't know. I'm not expecting it to be perfect. God, no, no. I never expect a game to come out and it, for it to be absolutely perfect. I just expect it to be playable, but still have some silly bugs, and I expect probably for those bugs to be fixed. Maybe in like the first week, because I know when Terraria came out, they honestly they they absolutely destroyed the game. Um, the um, update 2.1, oh, what was it? Update 
TU 2.1 or something, update 1.2, I can't remember, 2014 April was a Terraria update on the Xbox 360, and they destroyed the game. They literally had everyone's world got deleted. They completely broke it. I don't think things like that happen now as much, but Minecraft had a similar issue, they broke everyone's world with that. These things can happen, but um, what I get annoyed is when I, I know when there's been a bug for, for a while and they just haven't been bothered to fix it. Now, there's loads in this game where there's, there's bugs that they just have not fixed. And they probably know about them as well, but they're just not fixing them. You know, like things like that really destroy the immersion, like the pushback to breaking and stuff. For a co uh, I throw a, a cola and party until the day is done. Oh god. Well, it is 4K. I'm streaming 4K. Oh, we're turning. drink ever it makes you gassy after you know when you drink coke and you're gassy straight away and you burp immediately now nah, this this makes you gassy afterwards honestly you drink it and then it's like uh. <laughs> yeah I've had, I've had my experiences with this drink before is it bar 59p it used to be 49p 59 it's gone up 10 10 percent yeah 10 percent 10p in there now. A nice drink to be fair. Better than Fanta or anything. I don't know what colour it is. That's it. It tastes nice. That's it. There's, n there's nothing else to it. The can's quite nice, but that's it, you know. Yeah, it's trying hard to make everyone happy at the moment with the yeah, Epic support, you know what? Yeah, we can upgrade our Virgin uh, thingy. That's 100 megabytes, but I don't know if that's going to be worth it, you know. Four people watching. What did they do? <laughs> 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 what did they do? I love that. Oh, no! What's this? Auto... Oh, data save. Oh, yes. YouTube, there are millions of settings. So hard to pick the quality on YouTube now. How many buttons have you got to click? You've got to click one to enable the pause thing and all the title stuff and the settings and the timeline. Another button to hit the cogwheel. Another button for quality. Another button for advanced and then the selected resolution. Oh, yeah, it's not fun. You know, if you're older, how, you, how, how can you understand it? I always enjoyed the old Microsoft Flight Simulators. Uh, uh, bugs all the time, still enjoyed it though. Yeah, that's the thing. I think because it's a new game, this, this game has many bugs. But they've got bugs that we really should have fixed, like, maybe a year ago. There's, um so many graphic bugs, graphical bugs, that seems fine. But the main bugs is to do with systems. There's always the system bugs. Um, which really annoy me. Because uh, I want to get off and do the stream and something's broken and I can't do it. Cause it's, it it's flying up flap one setting or something stupid like that when all the flaps are off, like last time. Um, but, you know, uh, the fact that they're making a new game as well. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, they're making Flight Sim 2024. Apparently the graphics are going to be even better. Um, but I just hope they don't rush it. If they've released it, I really hope they don't rush it. 
Okay, they released Cyberpunk in 2013, and look how that came out. They had loads of years to work on it. I don't even know how that ended up happening, to be honest. The world's most disappointing game in the world. I think what they've got, right, is... People who have just recruited in these studios, who have just come out of, like, computer science and stuff, and learned how to code and stuff. And they're given, like, mammoth-sized tasks and deadlines, and they just haven't got the ability to do it, I think. And they're just putting loads of pressure on them. And they're sacking off all their old staff, or they left during COVID, or whatever. Old <laughs> fossils, um, and and the and the you know we just you know haven't got that leadership anymore. I don't know. Oh, we've just got some dweeb who's just come from McDonald's manager, a store manager, to the game manager. I don't know. The kid from Mackey's just rocks up. I know what we'll do. We will just ship it. There you are. Stop what you're doing. I wouldn't be at all surprised if that happened in some of the studios. <laughs> and they just say, right, finish what you're doing, I know you're all bug testing and your, your quality assurance and all that. Um, QA, stability, all that. Stop what you're doing, ship it. <laughs> it's going now. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. And then we'll just worry about it afterwards. We'll just make a few bug fixes and stuff. Watching on a 42-inch TV picture, perfect. But I know... Uh, what you mean about YouTube quality settings and annoying ads. Oh yeah. All too well, mate. All too well. See, I don't have mid-roll ads. I have two ads at the start, and then that's it. And if you happen to deviate anywhere else, there might be two others. But, um, I don't have mid-roll ads, because I know they're really annoying, so I just turn them off. I know that's like, that's money I'm losing out on. But I choose to sacrifice it and have it off. Okay, for Manchester Airport streams, I have them on so it's every 30 minutes, so every 30 minutes you'll get one ad or two. But that's about it, that's every 30 minutes, that's like the the maximum time I can do. You can have it so it's every 5 minutes, if I'm really greedy, 10 minutes, 15, or 20, or 30, I have it 30. So every 30 minutes someone gets an ad. Some channels have it every 5 minutes. It's unwatchable, isn't it? We'll be going after and stuff. And there's always an advert at the end of a video as well. <laughs> yeah. You know, New uh, Origins was a, a, ru a rushed game. And the devs don't uh, do anything about bugs uh, and blame it on the user. No, it's not to do with the users. More game testers required, yeah. I don't know, the most stable game I think I've ever played in my life is Flight Sim. <laughs> no, no. I don't actually know the most stable game I've ever played in my life. I think a game that's really stable and I don't think I've ever had any issues with it is Doom. Yeah, Doom, Doom Eternal and the, the Doom 2016 and Sonic Unleashed. They're games that are just solid. They are, they've got no bugs. They're so well polished. Unbelievable, honestly. Doom. Okay, I had a, a few crashes with the RTX, not RTX, uh, ray tracing. I had some crashes with that, uh, but I've never had like, yeah, Doom. It's an FPS shooter. Never had any bugs with that. Never. Sonic Unleashed. That's really solid. That's a very solid, smooth game. That's still standing the test of time now, and it's from 2008. So they're games that are really solid that have just been made and had the time they've needed to, to you know, to, to make to make things happen, to make things run, you know, smoothly. Doom always cruises at 60 FPS. Um, we've got a dynamic rendering engine, so not, ev not everything renders in, but when you go up to things nice and close like this and have a little look around, it'll re you'll see it rendering a little bit more, so that's how, and that's to save on FPS. But yeah, they're the most stable games I've ever played. I think the most broken game I've ever played. Um, hmm. 
most broken game I've ever played. Uh, this is quite broken. Um, ooh. Probably one of those stupid maths games at school. Yeah, God, you can break them so easily. Uh, ooh, Sonic 06 is broken. But that, that's, that's still playable. Yeah. Um, oh, all the games that are really broken. Um, Mm, Sonic Frontiers are quite broken. Uh, not really broken, it's just a bit buggy at times. More like user experience issues, like, oh, what do we do? What am I to do here? Not, no, things have not been explained properly. Poor, um, you know, all that. Yeah, the most buggiest game I think I've ever played in my life is with Virgin Media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the graphics look good. So I'm, I'm outside the plane a lot, aren't I? I want everyone to see the livery. Who remembers uh, T, uh, TT Rockstars? I remember TT Rockstars. Yes, yes, yes. What is it even? I remember them saying it in secondary school. And in the primary school they use it. You know, TT Rockstars. I'm like, TT... No, they're not talking about me, they're talking about TT Rockstars. It's like a maths game or something. I think it's a maths, I don't know. Cool maths games at school. What was the other one called? I don't know. It's all just stupid games. <laughs> cool maths games as well. You know what the funny thing about it was? It was made, it was, it was set up so kids could basically play games and their teacher look at the heading and go, oh, cool maths games. Well done. He's playing maths games, but they weren't actually maths games. They were, it was like, I think it was set up so kit students could just have time off playing really brain dead games. But we just saw the name of a website, Cool Maths Games, and they were like, "Oh, maths games!" But they weren't maths games; they were rubbish. <laughs> Carrier Command and Outrun on um, Atari. <laughs> Show my age now, <laughs> man. Atari. Who remembers Spelling B? No. Do they still have that at school now, like Accelerated Reader and stuff? And it's learning. Do they still have all that? Yeah, Accelerated Reader. It's learning. You read a book and you get quizzed on like multiple choice. Um, I don't know if they still have that at school now. Really not sure. They must still have Angry Birds on the iPads. They, they've got to still have that. That's all we played when I was in like 2005, the iPad and all that. When, when did the iPad come out? Was it 2010? It's 2012. When did the iPad come out? I can't remember, but I remember as soon as it came out, the primary school I work in now got them immediately and they just got the kids to play I uh, bloody Angry Bird on it. It's like... But, you know, what they use now not far off an iPad, you know, Chromebooks, we don't have an ICT suite anymore, you know, the ICT suites have gone, you know, we don't have an ICT suite, when I left in 2013, still had an ICT suite and the iPads were just like experimental, like see what we can learn with a, a device in the, in the classroom, and uh, yeah, we now have Chromebooks and stuff, so just have a trolley of the Chromebooks. So that's the ICT suite. It's on wheels. <laughs> and it goes down the corridor. And it goes up the corridor. <laughs> huh? Right, here's Mallorca. I'll probably start descending now. Don't play Candy Crush. No, Candy Crush is pretty rubbish. I don't even like it. Never like Candy Crush. Alright, okay, we're coming down to 15. Uh, we'll keep that speed up a little bit more. We'll flick a bunch of the things on. And uh, we'll burp. Yeah, so I have a connection before. Just love screwing me over. Virgin Media at the moment, the shit. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. 
my house, but something's either been throttled or they just need to look at it or they just need to improve the service around my area. Am I you uh, six seventy six nautical miles? Fifty one. Yeah, you're landing at Mallorca, aren't you? Not Menorca. <laughs> but where is Bobby? Is he just behind me? He's all the way over there. Maybe he's not landing in Menorca. No, we're landing in Mallorca, mate. The yard next to it, the big one. Loads of media. We used to go with BT, they were fine. Um, I remember having to fix the thing in the middle of the night. Um, middle of April 2020. Oh, all that. And then I was reading the manual about it as well. Learned loads from it. <laughs> like what all the little buttons meant and all the little... Uh, what all the little colours meant. Because BT have like loads of little lights up mean different things like pairing I think blue means the internet's on red means it's down orange means it's pairing mode or whatever and white means it's on standby or updating I don't know but I remember reading a lot about that I think that's what I chose oh he chose Mallorca sorry Menorca oh, it looks like one's going to Menorca one's going to Mallorca right we're coming down boys we're coming down a little bit surely, but it's going to increase that a little bit. Because I'm impatient. There we are. Yeah, I can manage my data flow in all sorts of different ways. Uh, how it... How the picture comes out due to bad data reception. I can choose how that happens. I can have it drop frames or... It can dynamically change the bit rate. I have it so it dynamically changes the bit rate. Um, which isn't always a good thing, but... Drop frames. Hmm. Looks right size island to me, yeah. I love Mallorca. I had a dream I was in Mallorca last night. I do like Mallorca, it's good. I, I think... Next time I book a hotel anyway, it probably will be in Mallorca, maybe May or June, I don't know, May, I'd love to go there. I think April's okay, but it's a bit cold at night, but Tenerife, still Tenerife to death. Does man operate to Mallorca? If so, at least I've done a... Re yeah, 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 they, they fly to Mallorca in the summer, easy jet. Uh, Tui, Jet 2, Ryanair. Yeah, they all fly to Mallorca. Very popular Mallorca, actually. Mallorca, not as popular as Mallorca. Mallorca's mad. Mallorca Airport is crazy. Honestly. It's a big airport, Mallorca Airport. God, it is. It's big. It's bigger than Tenerife Airport. Um, there's much more going on than Tenerife Airport. Um, it's a very busy airport, Mallorca. It's a nice place. Not at all bad. No, I do like Tenerife. I do. I like I like I like the Balearic Islands as well. I like a beef uh I think Menorca's a bit old for me now. I think um I dunno. Sorry, young, I think it's more of a young I, I can't really do much in Menorca. All the resorts are really far away from the airport and stuff. Um, and uh, I've, I've done Mallorca so many times in the past. It is, it's just a blast from the past. But I'm should I see a massive hilly bit across the sea. Where the hell are you, mate? A hilly bit? Yeah, what? The mountains? 
Right, we are climbing down. I'm going to disable autopilot in a minute. Uh, I'm just making sure I can just all set. Uh, our landing. They're all on, they're all on. Everything's all good in the hood. We're coming down now. So, autopilot's off. Turn to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately take control like that. Menorca, uh, Cala Galdana, uh, lovely holiday. I was only a 14. I was at 14 at the time, roughly. Yeah, Cala Galdana, I've heard of Cala Galdana. I've heard of most of the resorts in Menorca, but, you know, like, Eight years ago, I used to go around Google Maps, on Google Maps, and look all around Menorca. Yeah, I loved it. I loved doing it, looking at all the resorts and stuff. It's like a little car journey, little little ride around Menorca through my screen. It was great. Everyone loves Google Maps, but yeah, I was able to see a lot of it, all the resorts, the different resorts and all that. But yeah, Google Maps, eh? Brilliant. I heard. I know it's a. I know most of the uh, resorts in Menorca. I, I haven't been to all of them. I've been to quite a few. I've been to. You know, I've never been to. Um, is it Calagal down? And I've never been there. Been to Sambu. Been to. Um, Formentor. Not Formentor. Formenta, is it Formenta? Don't know. B uh, Binny Becker, been to Binny Becker, um, Mahan, Aranel. Yeah, been to most of the resorts. And uh, the resorts I've been to in Mallorca are um, Campastilla. I've never been to into uh, actual Palma. Don't know why. Uh, I've been to um, play at Palenza, Palenza Town, yeah, Porta Palenza, that's it, never been to Aranel, oh yeah, I've been to Alcudia as well, so yeah, I had to get my lip stitched up, because I fell off the toilet <laughs> when I was four, so, but I've never been to um, Parmanova, is it, Parmanova, never been there, that's like the nightclub place, never been there. Went with Monarch, nice. And for a beefer, I've been, uh, oh, I've only been to play them Bossa with a beefer. Yeah, only played in Bossa, never a beefer old town. With Tenerife, I've been to the north, can't remember the resort. Never been to um, Porto de la Cruz. I've uh, been to a decky. Um, yeah, I've been to the main ones in Tenerife. I've never been to uh, Los Gigantes. Lanzarote. Been to Yaiza, Fire Mountain. Timinfea, is it called? Been to Playa Blanca, Flamingo Beach. The Rubicon, been around there. Uh, I've been to Ar I've never been to Arrecife. Only the airport. I've never been to Arrecife Town. I've got to do that. And for Faro, I've only been to the airport. <laughs> With Iceland, I've been to Keflavik. Actual Keflavik Town. Yeah, quite dead. Right, flaps coming down. Yeah, sorry for pictures breaking up, guys. It's because of a connection. Virgin are disgraceful at the moment. Okay. I need to take a speed. Yeah, I've been to Mallorca loads of times. I can't remember how many times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times. Ten times I've been to Mallorca. Ten. Yeah, I've been to Mallorca about ten times. 
Tenerife, I have not a clue. Maybe 14 or 15 times to Tenerife. Menorca, I really don't know. <laughs> Maybe about 10. And Bifa, I've only been to a Bifa twice. Funny approach, isn't it? Bobby's coming in. Yeah, just do what I've done, Bobby. Just go along the uh, the, the mountain range, and then. Yeah. Alright, okay, Bobby. We're not overspeeding. <laughs> no, we are not. We should send a bit more. It's been a long flight. How long has the stream been? Two hours thirty. Yeah, that's that's roughly it. Flight time, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that's the thing with hotels. You can catch bugs. I've always been aware of that. Like cruise ships, if you bug going round, you're buggered. <laughs> Quite literally. And my speed brakes are armed. Gear coming down. We're all ready to rumble. Yeah, caught a bug at Arecife, uh, Lanzarote. You think I was 16, Lanzarote Princess. I think I've heard this story. Come down gently, gently. There's Campastilla to the right, and Palmer to the left. We're coming down so quick. Okay. Dip a little bit more. Look how I'm coming in. Seriously. Seriously, mate. I want to butter this bread. We landing at the same time. Yeah, I know I'm overspeeding. I know I'm overspeeding. Man, it's quite a long runway, thank God. I've <laughs> done this landing many times in real life. Right, airspeed should just drop. Time to control it. 
What are you doing, lad? What are you doing? But yeah, that was hard. Why, why is he just spawned in? His landing was better than mine. We're here. Oh, man. Wasn't the worst one in the world, wasn't it? <laughs> Just watching it. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Ah, welcome to the Mallorca. Where is he? Oh, he's coming in now. Get off the runway, quick. There he is, coming in. Oh! <laughs> they bobbed! Oh. Brilliant! There he is. Man himself. Drag that to 50. Fantastic landing, you think? Right, let's change them. Arm, um, there we go. You stalled, oh okay. Didn't know he'd stalled, I thought it was just the game. Right, we're here. I don't know where we're going to park. Um, where is it wants me to go? All the way over there. Why? We're Thomas Cook, so we should really be at the A section, but it doesn't look like there's anywhere I can park. Alright. Got a feeling it's going to take me somewhere. Well, no, I should really be at the A section because it's UK flights, isn't it? Right, we will go into this stand here. Go complete 180. I'm going here, Bobby, if you want to. Go to the one next to me, it's fine. There we are. Like gazelles. <laughs> oh. Ah, we're here. I hope you enjoyed. I'm just going to turn everything off here. Right, EPU, blah, 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 off. Oops. Uh. Yeah, I can't remember what happened last night. I think I had a dream that was a meal or something. I thought I had time to maybe go to Binny Becker. Turn off all the things, the blah blah blahs. They're all off. That's fine, that's how it should be. I'll try and get 
stairs and stuff to the aircraft. Um, there we are, he's there. Hmm. Oh, they're, they're the only options for crash pushback. Okay, right, we'll just turn off the plane. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Uh, the only aircraft I could ever fly long ago was Beechcraft King Air. Wow, nice. I've seen you see a few of them coming out of Liverpool. Yeah, they look quite nice. Nice planes. And the Cessnas and stuff. I assume that's flying school. <clears throat> Chalmers Cook. Chalmers Tuck. Good, that Sam. Apart from uh, my landing, stupid axe. Uh, so go around. Uh, so my thrust went uh, through the roof and stalled. Oh, okay. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about the connection issues. Um, Virgin have just got a few issues at the moment that, that they need to solve. It's got nothing to do with me. Uh, so, yeah. Um, see you guys um, tomorrow. Um, for, I don't know actually, maybe uh, more of that Doom stuff. Have you seen the new transitions as well for like uh, Gone Tech? Look, it's like a. Isn't like a. I don't know what it's called. What's, what's the transition called? It is a Luma wipe. Sinus nine. Does that make any sense? So it's it's like it's it's like it's it's, it's been splattered across. It's quite nice. Um, so yeah, it's like a new little transition fade thing. Got a picture of me watching Apollo thirteen in Discord. Oh God. Yeah. So see you guys in the next one. Uh, sorry about the connection. That's Virgin. It's just a bit poor at the moment in my area. Yeah, it's giving me all these little warnings. Stream is healthy. Really? No. Is it? 2 hours 41, so I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.